Here, very quickly, we're going to look at the structure of a mitochondrion. So, you should remember, mitochondrion is singular, mitochondria is plural. Did I get that backwards? No, it should be fine. Here we have uh, mitochondrion. So, what we're looking at is a few things here, and this is easy for me to remember because I love Keanu Reeves, and the matrix is where he lives. So, this middle part, I'm just skipping to there. I'm so excited. Uh, the matrix is where the link reaction and the Krebs cycle happen, and there's lots of enzymes there for all of that to happen. So all the different steps of the Krebs cycle, we didn't even talk about it, but each of those steps requires various enzymes to help make them happen, but you don't have to understand all of that. Just know that there's lots of good enzymes that are in the matrix to help make the, make the uh, Krebs cycle uh, happen smoothly. The outer layer here is called the outer mitochondrial membrane, and it basically separates its contents from the rest of the cytoplasm. Um, I'll talk about that in a second. The inner mitochondrial membrane, I'm gonna skip to, where is that? That's down here, oh, now it's here. The inner mitochondrial membrane is uh, a separate layer in here. Now that creates a space between the inner layer, the inner membrane, and the outer membrane. So you gotta say the whole thing, outer mitochondrial membrane, inner mitochondrial membrane. And so there, now we have an intermembrane space as well too. Now, if you watch the previous videos, the intermembrane space is super important because this is where the protons accumulate as a result of the electron transport chain. And the electron transport chain actually sits uh, on the inner mitochondrial membrane. So that's ETC, electron transport chain. That's also where the ATP synthase oops, enzymes will be. And the protons accumulate in here. And in order to make ATP, well, the protons in here diffuse back into the matrix. Stop! back into the matrix through ATP synthase enzymes. Um, that's basically it. And these fancy little folds here are called Christi. They help to increase the surface area as most projecting uh, folds do, like various villi all over the body. Um, so that's very important. So increasing the surface area allows us to have more electron transport chains, which allows us to have more ATP synthase molecules, which allows us to produce more ATP. It just makes the mitochondria much more efficient. And there's some extra bonus things inside. It turns out mitochondria organelles have their own ribosomes inside and also naked loop of DNA, which we're not even going to go into, but that tells us something about the origins of mitochondria, that they might have been bacteria or prokaryotic cells um, way before we had our current eukaryotic cells. So some kind of, uh, uh, it's part of something called endosymbiotic theory where cells combine together to live together happily. But that overall is the structure of the mitochondria so you could take a look and if I turn this into a question right here you can see uh, one Roman numeral one Roman numeral three and Roman numeral two which is referring to the small space in between so take a look at this box and then you can see a few extra structure related to function things that is the structure of a mitochondria